everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. Got a beautiful fire going in the wood-burning stove, and it is getting warm and toasty in here. I've already went out and fed the chickens. It's freezing outside. <sighs> I have the hankering for something. I have been wanting to make a chicken pot pie, and I got a couple pie crusts that I didn't use from Thanksgiving. They're out there in the fridge, and I'm going to see if I can accomplish this on the wood-burning stove. Wish me luck. Got this little bread maker pan on top of the wood-burning stove. I've got a one pie crust on the bottom. I have poured in a can of corn. Yes, I sprayed it down real good. Hopefully it won't stick. We'll see. Next, I've got plain old chicken from a can. Actually, it's from a package. Next, just a little can of mushrooms. I know, weird vegetables. I didn't have all the right vegetables to make a proper chicken pot pie, so this is the way I'm doing it. Some cream of mushroom soup. Yep, I got cream of chicken, but I figured since I got mushrooms in there, we're just going to go with the cream of mushroom. Got the pie crust on top. That was a little hard because it was hot, and it's all tucked in, and I got to close this door, and I got to flip this over like this, and hopefully it'll cook the way it's supposed to. This is the hard part. I'm pretty sure it's stuck on, the, on this part because it's too hot there. I loosen the sides, so what I'm going to do is... Close this, and I gotta flip it over, but I need two hands to do that. This is the scary part. I get to open it up and see how badly it's burnt and what what happened to it. So let's open it up. Oh, it's all in one piece. It did get a little burnt, a little bit burnt on this crust, so it's not gonna have to cook for very long. Awesome. Close it back up and let it cook for about maybe two more minutes. The moment of truth. I'm going to try and flip this with one hand. Excuse the camera shake so we can see if this baby is done. <sighs> All right. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's see. Oh, yes. Just look at that, you guys. The crust is nice and golden brown on the top. The only thing that went wrong was a little bit of darkness on the bottom, but that's okay. It'll still taste just fine, I'm sure. So we're going to let this cool and, well, see how it tastes. Okay, we're going to try and cut through this. Oh, that crust is crunchy. I can't wait to see how this looks. Now, it might not come out of the pan all that great. I'm going to do my best, but Ooh, look at that, you guys. It turned out perfect, and it looks delicious. At least it does to me. Let's see if we can see this over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. I can't wait to taste it. Mmm, look at that, you guys. Look, doesn't that look tasty? Alrighty, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch hands here and give it a taste. Look, look. Got some crust there. The crust is perfect. Mmm. Mmm. The crust turned out perfect. Mmm. This turned out great. Last bite, but certainly not least. Mmm. All gone. Well, I'm surprised that I accomplished that. I didn't think I'd be able to do it on a wood-burning stove because it's a little bit harder to control the heat. Did burn the bottom a little bit, but next time I'll just pull it back from the back of the firebox and um, turn the pan around so it'll cook more evenly. Mmm. But next time I do this, I'm going to actually get the, the right kind of vegetables. You know, I want some some carrots and some peas and, you know, just more of a variety. But it makes a great pot pie with that little old-fashioned... Mm, I've actually had a couple servings of it already. Um, it's an old-fashioned bread maker, they call them. And they used to make cornbread in them on top of the stove. And I've made pies in them, and they've turned out great. So... Yes! All right, now I got to get my day going. Don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll figure something out. I'm on my neighbor's property, kind of wrangling the chickens, and I found this beautiful fungus. Some kind of mushroom growing. I don't know what kind it is. I'm not sure. I wonder if it's a... Is this one of those hedgehog? I don't know what this is. I could tell you what I am going to do, though. I am going to cut it out of here. I'm going to go ask him if it's okay. I don't know what kind of tree this is. Um, it looks like it's, looking at the leaves, sycamore maybe. Um, 
but yeah, we're, I'm definitely going to cut this out. I'm going to go ask her first. Wow, that was hard getting it out. I tried to cut it out, but it's actually, it was in there really, really good. This is what the remnants look like, and it's very spongy. It's a solid mushroom. I don't know. I'm going to have to look this up, but I think I know what it is. Oh my gosh, so cool. There it is. All right, I got it a little bit dirty pulling it off that tree, but it looks like it's got like little tiny filaments. Look at my fingernails. They're always so dirty. The inside is kind of like cheese. Look at that. Oh, please let it be what I think it is. It's very, very interesting. So I'm going to look this up. The inside looks exactly like cheese. I'm trying to see if it bruises. Yeah, I got it pretty dirty. I know you can wash these. And it's very moist. You could squeeze water out of it, basically. Let's see. This is kind of like a second mushroom. Let's just see if I squeeze it. See? Look at all that water that comes out. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out what this is. I had really hoped that this was going to be a lion's mane mushroom or a hedgehog mushroom, but alas, it is not. It is a white cheese mushroom in my best estimation. I mean, it's really super hard to tell because I think that this is not completely formed yet. Although it's a very large mushroom, I think that this is an immature white cheese mushroom. And once they get to maturity, they kind of form like a shelf-like sort of structure. Here, let me, let me throw up a photo of what they look like when they get a little bit older. See that? That's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's a white cheese polypore mushroom, and unfortunately, they are not edible. Here's another view. I really think this is what this is, white cheese, polypore mushroom, and unfortunately, like I said, you can't eat them. I was so looking forward to being able to make a mushroom that tastes like lobster, but nope, you can't eat this one. So it really does pay off to kind of research and not just jump in and think it's something that it's not and try and make it right in your head, you know, so that it's like... This mushroom, well, if it were a lion's mane, it would have these long spiky tendrils coming off of it. If it was a hedgehog mushroom, the tendrils would be coming from underneath. So, although it's a very cool looking mushroom or fungus, whatever you want to call it, it is definitely not lion's mane and I am definitely not going to eat it. I didn't get to film any projects today, but I've been very busy. So you'll get to see some of that tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.